Is it possible to make a million dollar per hour farm on Donut SMP? No, I don't think so. It would be insane if you did it though. Probably, but it would take forever. Why are they not spawning? Bro, is it even gonna work? I don't think it's gonna work. Yo, it's working. Bro, we're rich. It just sold and I got to a million. Donut SMP is a server where money equals power. The more money you have, the more powerful you are. And I was sick and tired of being called poor and weak all the time. I knew something had to be done. There's gotta be a method to make insane amount of money in very little time. And so began the journey to find this method. I begin with a simple sugarcane farm. This is the first out of the 6 methods we will be covering in this video. Also, I probably need a base. Now, I could use my old base but it was in Europe region and I get really bad pink there. So I said goodbye to my old base with a boom. Bro, I feel bad for these villagers. Their ass is not making up tomorrow. Okay, let's do it. After that, I began in search for a good location for my new base. I dug down from this river and started working on the base. This wheat farm is not necessarily for making money, but rather for decoration. Now, I have to make a huge sugarcane farm, so I begin mining and constructing. And after an hour, okay, we're finally done with our first money making method, we on the grind, boys. But the next method I'm going to tell you is going to be life changing, thanks to the sponsor of this video, AFK Console Client. On Donut SMP, if you do slash AFK, you get teleported to this place where you gain shards, and shards can be used to redeem spawners and really insane tools and armor. But AFKing on your computer all the time comes with many problems. Like like your mom yelling at you for the electricity bill being so high and it has overall bad effects on your PC's health. But AFK console client has found a solution to this by letting us AFK even with our computer completely shut down. With multiple accounts, heck you can even AFK from your mobile phone. So now you can AFK 24 7 without any worries and have a huge advantage over the others on the donut SMP. All you have to do is log in with your Minecraft account select the server IP and version and that's all and if you use the code scarf 10 you get 10% off on your first order and if you don't want to pay you can still use the free version with some less features after using this just for one day I was able to get myself two skeleton spawners you will know later on why I chose skeleton spawners out of every available spawner everything was going fine until I started getting bored which means I needed to get some team Mates. So I got these two guys. Hello, my name is Cole and I'm 24 years old. I like crystal PvP and I'm being held at gunpoint. My name is Genuzu and I'm the Sigma man. And that's no it. the Sigma male. The next method I will be trying is another farm, the pumpkin farm. Now unlike the sugarcane one, I want this one to be completely automatic. So I asked my teammates to gather materials while I decorated my sugarcane farm. Now you might be wondering why I'm making a staircase. Well, I don't know, I'm just following a tutorial. What I do know is I will be making two of these farms on both the sides. So I'm kinda trying to connect both of their redstone so they take less space. I don't know what I'm yapping, but let's just get to the time lapse. Okay, never mind, the time lapse do get repetitive, so let me show you guys how the farm works. So, first, we need a collection system. For that, we got these hopper minecarts, which will collect all the pumpkin. After that, we need a layer of dirt to actually plant the pumpkin. Then, we need a contraption to crush these pumpkins. So, on top of every dirt block, we need pistons, and on top of the farmland, we need observers, which will provide signal to the pistons. And make sure to put redstone on top of every observer. 
hardware. And that's pretty much it. For some decoration I decided to put some orange glass. Now you might be wondering why pumpkin farm? Why not melon farm? Well melons do need to be crafted and I'm just too lazy to do that. But yeah our farm is done now. We can just afk here and get a bunch of pumpkin. But there's another side left completely empty. So... <laughs> Okay, done. Okay, so remember how I got these teammates? While I was working on this farm, they told me that they're working on a surprise for me. And it was finally time to see it. It was something which I was planning to make right after this farm. A pickle farm. Well, not any pickle farm, but Cone's body pickle farm. Okay, let's, let's see this thing. Yeah, it needs bone meal to work, by the way. Pickle farm active. Oh, okay. Yo, it's working. This is sick. The next day, I looked at the pickle farm and thought to myself that what could be better than one pickle farm? Well, two pickle farms, obviously. So after a quick tutorial, I started working on one. We now want to make a little bit of a staircase up to- And don't ask me how this works because I have no clue. Oh what? Why isn't it working? What the hell? Okay, I think I need some help. And so I got some help. I called my teammate and watched some memes while he was working on the farm. Oh wait, I gotta take a shit. One hour later. Okay, I'm back. What the hell? They got it to work? Dang, my teammates are smart. Next, I wanted to see how much money each of my farms make. So I started first with the sugarcane farm and it made only around 1.5k after a full harvest. The pumpkin farm which has been running for a while now made me 6.6k and finally the pickle farm made 77k. The thing about pickle farms though is that they require bone meal to work and that is why I got skeleton spawners earlier in this video. Pickle farm made really good money but it was nowhere near a million dollars. So for the next method I'm going to be fighting people for their gear. This method can make us a really good amount of money but we do still need some money in order to start out because crystals, totems, anchors, yeah these are quite expensive so I'ma put this method for hold now. And we are skipping to the next method which is villagers. You see villagers can sell you really good books and armor which you can sell in order to become really rich. But as I started to clear out some space for the villagers, this stupid lava got in my way. So I got my slaves, I mean my teammates to help me clear the lava. Now we needed some sand to clear it efficiently but we did not have any. So I RTP'd and found a desert which is perfect for the sand but there was a village as well. Bro look at these villagers villagers what the fuck we got african villagers before gta 6 nah seriously what is this i got a bit distracted but we managed to clear the lava and make a hole for the villagers now it was my job to kidnap some villagers conveniently there was a village right outside my base yo get up i'm here to collect taxes okay let's go Okay, now get in that hole. Move your fat ass. Okay, perfect. I hope he's still alive. I don't think he's alive. <sighs> because now it's time to get another one. And down you go. After that, I sealed up the hole because I don't want our base to be raided. Get in the boat. Perfect. Okay, what the fuck are these guys doing? No freaking shot, bro. Ignoring the criminal activities that my teammates were doing, I put bed all around the hall so that the villagers can do their thing. It's like to do the deed. Yeah, but like we're like we need like an active source of food for them. Bro, look at bread price in look at the auction house. But you can buy you. carrot though. Like carrot is also like Wait, an carrot option. Works? Yeah, it Perhaps. does. I get a couple of stacks. Okay. And now we have to like. Beer, what, bro? Okay, look, oh, look, look, it's working. 
Let's go. Hey, leave them alone. Don't interrupt them. Let go them... away. Go away. Let, let them make babies. Yeah. yeah let's watch. Let's... <laughs> They're giving <laughs> us a show. Oh, they made There's it. I think they oh, made it. They're trading. They oh my god. It. Need like farmer, librarian, and I think that's it. We need more librarians though, maybe. For yeah, like... librarians are like the main. We also need like armorers and maybe toolsmiths. So after this, I just left the villagers to be handled by my teammates while I decided that I'm going to fix my base. You see, all the farms in my base are automatic except the sugarcane one. So I started working on automating the sugarcane farm. Well, this farm works exactly the same as the pumpkin farm. We have rail and hopper system to collect the sugarcane, observers to detect, and pistons to break it. And meanwhile, another YouTuber whom I'm currently racing to 10k subs showed up. By the way, you should subscribe so we beat him. I gave him a tour and after that, I just straight up made him do unpaid okay, labor. Okay, screw you. Yeah, you just joined the VC and like... Now you're doing slavery. And finally, both the sugarcane farms are now automatic. So till now, we have made an automatic sugarcane farm, pumpkin farm, pickle farm, and a villager hall. Now, I haven't really used the villager hall to make money because the next money-making method is going to correlate to the villager hall. Now, if you haven't guessed already, it's a raid farm. Now, the thing about a raid farm is it's really hard to find a location with both a village and a pillager outpost and even if you build one it is very likely to get grieved but i did not let that stop me from making one because i knew that it was my last chance at making a million dollar or anything close to that per hour so i looked up a tutorial gathered the materials and started working Turns out we need to kidnap a villager one more time for this farm to work. Also don't ask me why I have an arrow up my ass. Okay so the farm is done, it took a while but it is going to be worth it. So for it to work I need bad open effect and luckily I do know a pillager outpost. Okay fingers crossed, hopefully it works. Um, why are they not spawning? Well, that did not work, let's try that one more time. Even though there's a pillager outpost, it takes hours to spawn the captain pillager which gives the effect. Yo, there he is. Okay, I think it's working, they are going to spawn any second now. Five hours later. Okay, yeah, this farm was a fail. This was the lowest I felt in this video. I felt like giving up, but then I remembered I have teammates. So, after calling them again, I started working on a different design. Working on the raid farm with my teammates was probably the most fun I've had on this server. We were halfway done with the farm when I decided to blow up the older one. Okay, I'm gonna do the explosion. Give me a countdown. We oh, uh. Two and a half. Bruh. Wait, 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 wait stop. stop. Juicy balls, one, hey, yo, go, 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 go. Okay, okay, bro, what the Are you starting from top? Oh yeah, you started from top. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, did it stop? Nope. Um, it stopped. Oops, I'm waiting. oops, I'm still oops. Waiting. I'm still waiting. Oh my god, I almost died. I'm on half a heart. Even though it took us like an hour to finish the farm, it did not feel like it as we were having a blast. Now, it was finally time to see if this works or not. Me. No, you TV me. I'm at the raid farm. I'm at the raid farm, I'm already up here, bro. I'm getting up as well. Yo. I'm, I'm up here. No fucking shot, it works. Oh, what? what? Um. Why? Wait, let me. Hell yeah, we're going to be rich. Okay, the raid um, stopped for some reason, but we still have hope on this design. Okay, try to, let's go. Yeah, it's working. I used this farm for a while and it was working flawlessly. Bro, look at all this okay. loot. We are rich. Yep. 
Bro, what the fuck? Why are there so many Ravagers? Bro, look at this. This is insane. Bro, make sure you don't fall in this pit. It's crazy. Uh, I think I might fall. Will I die though? You will die, definitely. Oh, uh, well maybe I don't want to come Oh, up. fuck. Wait, and we also have Hero of the Village. So now we can get back to our villager hall and exploit them poor villagers. And that's what we did. I will do a proper test to see how much money every farm makes in one hour. And if my raid farm actually makes me a millionaire. But before that, I have to try out if PvP is a good method to make money or not. Because we skipped that at the beginning. Okay, what? I have 96 crate keys? That's crazy crazy so that's our supply for armor okay first fight let's go and i'm not the one playing this music in the background by the way i don't know how to disable it that was easy what? okay fight number two where did he go oh there he is stop hiding little bro Hey, GG. OMG, is this you? Yes, this is me, bro. I think I'm getting recognized, guys. Probably because of my media rank, but, uh... I watch all your vid and sub. Okay, bro, stop yapping. Can we fight now? Yeah, you're done. Oh, wait, what? Did I just lose to a fan? This is kinda embarrassing, not gonna lie. I have to do a rematch, bro. This is embarrassing. Okay, what? What? I forgot to offhand the totem. Why you naked, buddy? And I just killed myself. Wish I did that in real life so I did not have to experience this embarrassment. Okay, finally bro, I got some gear. Okay, I don't think PvP is for me, honestly. Especially with my dog shit ping, but... Hey, if you're good at PvP, you can definitely make a lot of money from it. Next up, I decided to host a FFA. Yo, we're getting so many people. N not really, but le let's make a house. What the fuck? I'm surprised no one has tried to kill me yet. And yep, I'm dead. Expected that. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna do a little explosion. Bruh. Anyways, let's now finally test all our farms and see how much money they make. So, I gave all my money to my teammate. From the sugarcane farm, I got around 1.17k in total. From the pumpkin farm, I made 4.6k and finally, from the pickle farm, I made about 160k. But now, it's time for the raid farm. I spent an entire hour using it and this is how much I got. Well not really one hour, I had to go and eat food but... Okay let me break it down for you. I sold all the junk from the farm and it got me around 70k. Then I sold the redstone for 7k a stack. Next I sold shulkers full of totems. The price of this ranged from 30 to 40k but I recommend not going over 35k. I was able to get 10 of these shulkers in one hour. Then I sold a stack of emerald block for 175k. I recommend you to go higher than that maybe at like 200k on the rest of the emeralds i got fully enchanted armor set and sold it in the range of 10 to 15k looking back at it i was just being extra it's more profitable and quick if you just sell the stacks of emerald block so that's what i did with the rest of my emeralds finally everything was sold out and i was at 1.2 million i i sold the emerald block thing again who bought it i got i got 1.20 million all done in one hour this would not be possible without my teammate and if you want to be in a video like them then join my discord server.